And we'll take you inside the kitchen at the Greasy Spoon Soul Food Bistro to see what dishes may be spotlighted soon on the Food Network. And now let's check in with Joe Sam, who is serving up some soul food today. Hey, Joe. Hey guys, yeah, so that was a really tough game that you guys played there in the studio, but it is not a game here at the Greasy Spoon Soul Food Bistro. You can see what we have already down here. We're going to be talking about these amazing dishes, and we're going to be speaking to the owner and his story behind this amazing restaurant. We're going to go ahead and send you to a quick break, but Houston Life will be right back after that. All right. Sounds good. <laughs> okay, so the Greasy Spoon uh, Soul Food Bistro in Cypress Station has a loyal following thanks to their traditional Southern comfort food. It's yummy. Joe Sam is there to find out how this local favorite is elevating the standard of soul food. Hi, Joe. Hey guys, that's right. So when we talk about soul food, it's all about that love that you put into it. And that's exactly what they're doing here Sorry at the Greasy that. Spoon Soul Food Bistro. I'm talking with the owner right now who's giving all that love out to us, Max Bozeman. You have been doing some incredible things here. And the reason why we're really here is after an Instagram post that we saw that you made. It picked up a lot of attention, a lot of traction. Let's talk about that post that you made. Which one? The one that <laughs> you made a lot of them. And the one that we're talking about in particular is about your, your resiliency, that you've come from all of the right. things that you've been through, the pandemic hit, right. and then right. after the pandemic hit, right in the midst of you getting ready to start your second location, then you found out that you had cancer. You actually had to go through those cancer treatments. You beat the treatments. Let's talk about that. Yeah, I actually um, got diagnosed with cancer three months after opening this location, mm. which is my first location. And uh, of course, that was right around the time the pandemic hit as well. And so, of course, my world was turned upside down. Um, but, like you say, you know, I'm a man that, that just has faith and resilience. Mm -hmm. And I know a lot of people look at me as far as uh, a model. Um, and so, you know, I just had to keep going. I didn't let it stop me. I took the, the treatments for what it was, you know, and just kept going, you know, um, mainly because I have kids. And I want to show my kids what it means to get knocked down, but still keep going and, and still keep going after your dreams. And then what happened during the treatments, you guys, is that he had a call from the Food Network. It conflicted with your schedule, so you wasn't able to get that done. But now they gave you a call again. The Food Network will be back here again to possibly film with you. Yeah. Isn't yeah, that, that exciting? Was, that was just very <laughs> exciting. You know, I was I was kind of bummed out when um, when that schedule conflicted with my, my, my chemo schedule. Uh, but then they called back. You know, and they're like, hey, look, we want to come back down to Houston and so uh, to film a segment with you. And so that's very exciting, and I, and I can't wait for that to happen. And this is why they were so excited. Let's go ahead and point <laughs> down to this here. This is why the Food Network is so excited to come and film at the Bistro here. We're going to be talking about these amazing dishes, telling you exactly what they are and what how good they taste, too, because yeah, I know that's going to be good. Courtney, Derek, we're going to send things back to you guys. I have some eating to do. That is just not fair. <laughs> we'll see you in a bit, Joe. All right, now. Hey, welcome back to Houston Life. We are here at the Greasy Spoon Soul Food Bistro. Before we left, we told you about the amazing food. You see, I have the fork in hand. We're getting ready to taste some of that food and talk to the owner here, Max, to talk about how you guys were chosen to be on the Food Network. We already know the reason why, but now we have to tell everybody else it's because of these beauties that we have in front of us. Right, you're right. <laughs> Actually, these are the two items that uh, caught the Food Network's attention. Oh. Uh, the Boss Seafood Stack, which is uh, dirty rice, collard greens, Cajun fried catfish filet, mm. Cajun fried lobster tail and sauteed shrimp smothered in a seafood crab sauce. Mm. And then, of course, our soul food stuffed turkey leg. The stuffed turkey leg. Yeah. You have to tell us what this has. It has dirty rice, collard greens, and our famous mac and cheese, all smothered in a Cajun sauce as well. Look at that dirty rice. This looks absolutely amazing, so you know I'm going to have to taste this as well. Right. Before we do that, talk about how these family recipes, that you just elevated them to give everyone that five-star dining experience that they can expect here from not only this location, but the new location you're going to be opening up soon as well. Yes, it's, it's been my desire to elevate the culture of Southern cuisine. And so outside of having the typical soul food, entrees and menu items, I wanted to kind of take it up a notch. A lot of people love soul food. Mm -hmm. It crosses all barriers. Um, and so I want to make sure that people actually appreciate 
soul food and Southern comfort food the same way they appreciate some of the other five-star dining restaurants as well. Absolutely. You're yeah. open until 8 p.m. or until the items sell out. Until Correct. they sell out, right. And right. Make sure you come on out here, check out the Greasy Spoon. Great job again and congratulations Thank on you. not only beating cancer, but continuing <laughs> on with this amazing food that we have here. Courtney and Derek, I'm telling you, I have a very, very tough job, so I'm going to get to it. <laughs> <laughs> Get to it. Looks A lot good. of things to celebrate, Joe. Thanks so much. That's we're just making jealous now. Yeah. Oh, we'll yeah. be right.